Your Voice, Your Home was a highly integrated engagement process designed for residents to share ideas and present recommendations to find actionable solutions on housing issues. It was the largest public engagement exercise in Burnaby's history, engaging over 2,600 residents. Landing on the collaborate end of the IAP2 spectrum, this engagement process provided a unique opportunity for the City of Burnaby to deepen relationships with the community and continue to build an ongoing culture of participation, while at the same time creating a mutually reinforcing process where both stakeholders and residents are able to inform decision making. The task force brought together a broad cross-section of people, including housing activists, developers, business leaders, and average citizens. At the same time, residents were also engaged in the Your Voice, Your Home engagement process, providing their ideas, priorities for trade-offs, and solutions. At every step of the process, resident input was at the forefront. There were two distinct phases. The first, generating ideas, included an idea survey, community ideas workshop, and stakeholder interviews. More than 1,400 residents took the idea survey and shared more than 500 ideas. The ideas workshop added even more, and stakeholder interviews provided an important link, reaching out to people with very low incomes and youth, people whose voices are too often not heard. The final step in phase one was the interim report to city council, which included 10 recommended quick starts. These quick starts kicked off the second phase, which engaged residents and the task force in the challenging work of balancing the trade-offs necessary to find solutions. This phase began with a quick start survey, and on May 25th, more than 100 residents representing all walks of Burnaby life gathered at Maywood Elementary to spend a whole day talking, sharing, and creating recommendations to the task force. In July, the task force presented its final report to City Council, capturing the input from residents and the task force itself, charting the way forward. The next step is for the city to begin introducing the new approaches, policies, and initiatives in the coming months that turn the task force recommendations into action. Change won't happen overnight, but residents have made clear there's an urgent need to move as quickly as possible. We're going to do everything we can to make this a great and welcoming city where we all have a place to live. If anything, this whole process has taught me that people care deeply about this. We can get this done. Hello everyone. I can't believe it's already been one year since the end of Your Voice, Your Home. Today we have three very special guests with us who are going to share some personal project reflections. Zaria, let's start with you. As a member of the Center for Dialogues engagement team, what made Your Voice, Your Home so unique? For me, it would be the high level of integration between the resident engagement and the decision making process. Your Voice, Your Home was intentionally designed to ensure that both of these processes fed into one another and our lead facilitator described it almost as an engagement tango. While both processes were integral to the project, the magic was really in the interaction between the two. Thanks so much, Saria. What about you, Max? You were a community student ambassador for the project. Why was this role so important? I think it was all about engaging with residents where they would already be gathered. We wanted to focus on those who wouldn't otherwise be able to participate, and we connected with over 400 residents from across the city at community centers, summer camps, bus stations, mosques, churches, and other local organizations to ensure that their needs would be heard. So I think that was really important. Thanks very much, Max. Now we have Leanne Garnett from the city of Burnaby. So, so much has happened over the past year, Leanne, as a result of Your Voice, Your Home. Can you share one project success? Out of the task force work, a real highlight for us was that of the tenant assistance work. The task force and residents spent a lot of time and energy developing um, working solutions to address this, and the City of Burnaby Council took that work and adopted it as their policy. Uh, this now is one of the strongest tenant assistance support program policies that we have in Canada. So this is a great outcome for tenants because they'll have housing security and also for the city because we'll have tenants remain in Burnaby uh, and stay in our community. Thank you so much Leanne, Zaria and Max for joining me today to spend a little bit of time discussing and celebrating your voice, your home. Um.